What brings you bliss? Do you know? Bliss is joy. There's an aphorism, follow your bliss, but I don't think it's just a clever quote. Perhaps this is a way of being. Part of this is my bliss. And there is not letting fly get in the way of my bliss today. So when was the last time you felt a sense of wonder in your life? Just in being. Just, we forget this. Like, we pick up so much stuff. And when? When was the last time that you just felt bliss, joyful, whatever you want to call it? When? What's stopping you? You have access to it. First step is getting quiet so you can listen and meditation, mindfulness to help you realize what is that? What is that bliss? What is that abundance that's been there all this time? It's just really waiting for me. What is that? Some of this you find in being and doing, but it includes ultimately a choice. This is an aspect of the Divine Feminine that I've been learning about via a meditation series by Dr. Chopra, and really it's been remarkable. The, at the Divine Feminine, feminine, it's abundance and just the awareness of that abundance being there really for everyone. It's just a matter of a choice. What do I want to do? What makes me grin like a kid and just makes my heart glow and on fire? What is that? Well, if you don't know, you can start trying things. Pay attention. How does your body feel? How does your mind feel when you do that? current things. You can have bliss anywhere you're at. You can have that right now. Just bring more joy into your life. When you were a kid, like really untouched, unjaded by the world, what was that? And if you didn't have that, then discovery is part of it. Adventure for me is bliss. Singing for me is bliss. This right here, right now, in this moment is bliss. Meditation is bliss. I mean, just so much joy when you let go of the bullshit and let in the good shit. Have a nice day. Thanks for listening.